Yo, you're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigint? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am THE expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Uh. I'm the guy that designed your Trank Gun, Active Sonar, and Motion Detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. So I wonder what will happen if we call Eva. Her number was one something, one four nine something, seven two. Oh, I can't remember. Hold up. It's one four two, five two. At least that would save it down, right? Fuck. But now, oh, but shouldn't that like save down Eva's? Hey Snake, remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that forty-five down? Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're gonna keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. CQC, man. Tell me about Sounds the gun. Like the Cobra unit. I don't care. Like, that's the lore. Alright. Put the uh, hush puppy on. Hey. Oh shit, no, that's poisonous. Like, you're not supposed to eat a ring snake, are you? Oh. Swim away. I see your guarding items. Alright, you know what? I can't. I'm not. You, you're not gonna swim away? I'm gonna make you go away. Yeah. I wouldn't. I would. Is that a fucking frog? Holy shit! Never caught a frog before. Don't eat the milk snakes. Gators everywhere. Huh. Well, I'll go the way I came from because that's safer. You know, I actually forgot the snake swam. <sighs> Which is weird because, like, you know. He swam in both uh, Metal Gear 2 and 3. Well, 1, one and 2. Like, he swam into, um, into Moses. Oh, I got leeches on me, don't I? Yep. 
Das war ja... Get off. Hello? Snake. It's Eva. Are you there? Eva? Did you miss me? Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan? In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I guess we traitors have a lot in common. Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I... I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures... It's South other Park. Thinking, ...until I went to work for the NSA. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to, even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. Didn't you already give me a frequency like just now? Like before you're about to leave? Ah, oh. never actually done this site. What, what, what does Snake do? Walk the tightrope? <gasps> oh. Okay. Okay. That's what we're doing now. That's what we're doing today. <sighs> Operation Snake Eaters go. But he's still a tight rope walking snake. <laughs> oh, no, no sleeping fish, I guess. Where's the other? Wait, where's the other one? There it is. And now I'm full of leeches again, aren't I? Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, let's burn those leeches off. And food. Let's eat that fish I caught. Ah, oh, fuck that. Eat the eat the crocodile. Should we make make some phone calls about the uh, about the food I have? Right, today's gonna be a it's gonna be a, uh, a food day. Calorie mate, uh, take it the python, instant noodles. 
Uh, let's get rid of the knife first, just just for now. Um, have the Russian rations. All right. First of all, now that I'm on full stamina, first let's get there. For now. Oh, it's gotta be tight, isn't it? Wait, what? <coughs> Jesus, Snake, why are you so strong? This is like some ultimate ninja warrior bullshit, isn't it? That's what I came for. What is it? Croc cap! Wait, what? Where is it? Yep. Yep. Uh, let's get rid of this. Oh, let's get rid of the sonar. All right. So who do I talk to about the uh, the rations? Snake, you said Eva said her Mauser was a Type 17, right? Yeah. What about it? That model was produced in the 1920s in a weapons lab in the Shangxi province in China. The cartridge part sticks out lower than the original to accommodate 45 caliber rounds. The barrel and chamber are a little bit thicker too. But most telling of all, it's got Chinese characters engraved on both sides of the frame like you saw. And that firing stance Eva was talking about where you hold the gun horizontally, that's a trademark of the Chinese. Just like you were saying, when you're firing in full auto mode, the muzzle jump effect gives you a horizontal strafing motion. They say it's especially deadly in indoor and close range mop up actions. The Japanese called it bandit shooting and used to dread it. Makes you wonder where she learned to shoot like that. From the Chinese? You got some instant noodles, huh? Instant noodles? Uh huh. It was invented in Japan just recently. Add some hot water and it's ready to eat. It's cheap and can be stored for a long time. And besides, it's delicious. It's like a miracle food. Wow. Speaking of which... Yeah? Are you going to eat that? I was planning on it, yeah. Oh, all right. Is there some reason I shouldn't? No, that's not what I meant. Then what did you mean? I was just going to say that if you weren't going to eat it, you should bring it back to me. I've always wanted to try some. Whatever. I'll consider it. Uh, let's talk about that frog, shall we? I see you caught yourself a reticulated python. Oh, she's just gonna run through all the things I've caught. The reticulated python is said to be the longest snake in the world. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. But you it's just said it's not poisonous. Snake, but you should be able to capture it alive by using the tranquilizer gun. I'll bet if you capture one and throw it at an enemy, it'll give him a good scare. You've eaten one, haven't you? Yeah. It wasn't half bad. Oh, cannibal. What was that? Nothing. Talk to you later. Oh, paramedic you. I see you've captured an Indian gavial. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that originally lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes but escaped and became wild again. 
Indian escaped crocodiles. Large creatures. Yeah. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. I tried the meat. It was great. Well, good for you. <laughs> but be careful when capturing an Indian uh. female. Normally they're cowardly creatures, but the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently they attack humans. What do you mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. You talk about Godzilla. I see you've caught yourself an arowana. The arowana is an ancient fish that lives in tropical freshwater areas. Because of its large size, I don't think you'll be able to capture one alive. Ancient fish like the arowana are living fossils. They've hardly changed their form since the Devonian and Jurassic periods. Other ancient fish besides the arowana include the coelacanth, the starlet, and the knifefish. Almost all organisms on Earth have evolved in various shapes and forms, but these fish have kept the same form for hundreds of millions of years. Baffling, isn't it? Sure. Okay. Well, I can see you're not interested. Not at all. I love ancient fish. Why? I ate it. They taste pretty good. It's all about taste with me. Come on. I see you caught an otten frog. The otten frog is a large, corpulent species of frog. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. The otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs, but the otten frog is unique in that it has five. Got it. By the way, you said they were known as a delicacy, right? Right. So that means they must taste pretty good, huh? I guess so. I hear that in Japan, otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Really? Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. <laughs> Way to promote the country you come from, Kojima. I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie mate? The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? Try it, it's pretty good. Okay. But what is this thing? Never seen anything like it. I've actually had a calorie mate calorie once mate in is Japan. An energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced diet. It was so dry. It's a well balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah. And it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? Uh-huh. It's easy to keep track of your calorie intake. Uh -huh, it's a thing that Snake says. Kept, kept you waiting, you huh? Wait too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Yes. I love Japan. Oh, boy. You're, you're one of them weeaboos, aren't you? Okay. Oh my god, why? Why is it like this now? Alright, let's try to get to... Huh. Interesting. Get off me, leech! So let's put, <laughs> let's get all the food away from my backpack, shall we? Put that knife back. Yes, I need to get food. Uh, direction of the microphone. Play more. Stun smoke. Regular grenade. Um, there we go. For some reason, the X button wasn't working. Look, I don't know why the crocodile has had a thing. I've just grown to never question like Metal Gear stuff.
Wait, what happened to my what happened to my camera? Is this normal? Or is it just a map? Interesting. I guess it's just this area, huh? Oh, there we go. Ah, don't think I didn't fucking see you. I'll trigger it, but with a knife. Or I can just poke it. Ah, didn't think I'd see your fucking traps, did you? Careful, there are claymore mines in here. The fucking dog! Look, look at this claymore. I'm gonna pick you up. How many are there? More than a few. So how long does the uh, does the does the hush puppy last? People? Well, let's get all the clean ones out, out of the way first. See here. Three, actually. one by the like the bottom of the tree at the same dock Well, that's taken care of him. Dog wakes up so quickly. Right, let's put the AP sensor.
unit. Confirm their status. Now, who's the support unit? There they are. What's wrong? What's wrong? Nothing, man. You guys are sleeping. This is so fucking paranoid. It's just people sleeping, man. You tell me you've never slept on the job before. Like these guys. I don't think I'm ever coming back here, so... Wouldn't that zap him to death? Yep. Whoa! Didn't mean to kill him. You, you killed yourself, really. When you think about it, that guy actually killed himself. I didn't do it. Oh no. It's been a while. Let's, uh, let's, let's pop down and save the game. Do you want to save? Yeah, I fucking do. Tell me about movies. Love to hear like more movie trivia. Ooh. There we go. Snake, do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects and it came from outer space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. Hey, safe. Fine, I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fishman. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. I will. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fishman? You started it. Damn.